Hey folks, pause it a poll. Wednesday evening, September 30th, 2020. And all hell's breaking loose outside. A full moon, of course. Not quite sure what happened, but major fire. It looks like possibly uh, at a gas station, but let's hope for the best and say, say prayers for everybody down here in Rosarito. Try to go easy on them, right, folks? Because these people, and not not just down here, it's, it's it's all over the globe. They're 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 clueless that the tribulation's gonna hit, and it's gonna hit soon. And we're talking for certain within the next year. All the pieces of the puzzle are being put in place. Now I want to try to follow up on this Montauk project business and the number one question is is there time travel I've always said going on four years now the only reason these creepy chameleon Canaanites these dirty dog Draco reptoid hybrids want to time travel is to figure out when their demise is and I've already explained, starting in Leviticus, concerning the observers of times and what they were up to. So I want to just go over a quick couple things so this video doesn't go too long. We're in Daniel chapter 7, starting on verse 22. Until the Ancient of Days came... And judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. And the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. Thus he said, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth. And it goes on concerning the ten horns. But the most important part here is Daniel chapter 7 verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Yeah, that's right, they, they got me down to a nub, folks. I haven't had money in years. There's no, no even, and this is how goofy this is, that, you know, my family, and even my son's mom, oh, when are you going to get a job? They, these people are clueless. And I keep trying to help them. So what am I supposed to do? I'm wore out. I'm over this. But they shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And think to change times and laws. Now, the key word here is think. They want their thinking on how they can do this prevent their dem demise folks and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and dividing of time well let's go right back to the montauk project and the philadelphia experiment those two go hand in hand they cannot be separated but again what came first the chicken or the egg did preston and duncan and whoever else try to clear their conscience and said, look, we're going to crash this project. And they're going to, they're, 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 they do it in a way where the story is, again, I'll just keep repeating myself ad nauseum. Duncan sits in the Montauk chair and he th thinks about a monster, this monster junior that gets fed in, through from his mind through the chair into the computer in into the you know transmitter it's a thought amplifier and suddenly junior appears and he's running amok on on montauk point meaning fort hero meanwhile they they say things are like you know they cannot shut this equipment off okay we got that part. 
Now, what about the part with uh, Al and Duncan showing up and the older Von Neumann's telling him, look, you got to go back and you got to smash the equipment on the Eldritch. Do, do you see, folks? Look, I... The, this is all a bunch of hocus pocus. And what I'm telling you is we're dealing with a bunch of dopey Satanists who disgustingly seek out these children that are tied to the Ashkenaz bloodline. They seek out these children that are tied to the Abrahamic blood link. And their main goal is destroy them. Eliminate them from this great blue ball spinning in outer space right folks so I'm going to draw the contrast of Daniel specifically 7 verse 25 about thinking to change times and laws so with that being said I want to brush up on some more details concerning me and New Jersey when I moved from 223 Rethmeyer Court behind Covert Court off of Bush Drive in Baldwin, Missouri. And I was taken to Vernon, New Jersey on Thanksgiving of 1979. And one of the things I did back in 2016, I tried to contact these people back in New Jersey. People I went to high school with, I hung out with, I let them know, hey, look, I got a major problem on my hands. I was part of MK Ultra. I got these Illuminati characters on my ass because apparently my great grandfather's older brother sold out. My parents bailed on me. They know what's going on, they know what happened. And what they did was, is they just mocked me. They took it as a joke. Now, as I said, this town, amongst many towns scattered across the United States, are nothing but holding pens for these children back then. So, the point is, is I put people on notice back in 2016. And what I got in return was, yeah, yeah, you're, you just, sure, sure, you're crazy. Okay, well, let's talk about this crazy uh, Montauk project then. Right there's Montauk Point, right there. I'll always state it, that by the, the early 80s, they had the time tunnel perfected. I know I had sleep paralysis when I was younger, and I would fight that. And what I really believe is, folks, I'm just one of those ones they could not get, get a handle on. Or maybe they did. Who knows? But, again, why am I still here? So here's the point. I wanted to explain about how... The United States' goal back in the war, World War II, was to find a way to detect the enemy before they arrived, find a way to become invisible to the enemy. And this is all based around the theories that were developed by Tesla and Einstein and others. This was all done, according to Al, at the Advanced Institute of Studies on Princeton University. Now, I've always stated about my grandfather, who was a World War II vet, a Navy chaplain. He served on the USS South Dakota. He was in the thick of the Pacific Theater, had been kamikaze many a times. There's many pictures of him online giving sermons, burying the dead at sea. But he knew what was going on. He knew Forrestal. I've already shown the letter. I don't got to keep doing this. But the point is, what I want to show you is, this 
is something I discovered a couple years ago. And it's a list of all the people that went to Princeton University and had received a bronze memorial star. And it's not a very long list. It was compiled apparently April 10th, 1992. And at the top of this list is my grandfather, Newell Dwight Linder. It shows that he graduated Princeton in 1931. Now, I've already stated his father, my great-great-grandfather, Paul W. F. Lindner, had went to Princeton also. This same exact time, Woodrow Wilson was the president of Princeton and a professor there. So my family has a, has a connection to Princeton. And certainly these two gentlemen would have known all about Einstein and Nikola Tes Tesla. Now, whether they knew exactly what they were up to is a different story. But I'm trying to draw the contrast of, of why my grandfather was murdered by the CIA. Because he knew too much. Now, Al always states, concerning the Philadelphia experiment, that Nikola Tesla got cold feet and tried to crash the project because he was concerned about his fellow humans. But we also know, Al said, that apparently once they had punched the hole through to hyperspace that these aliens flooded in. And it's known that Nikola Tesla also, apparently, according to him, had communications with aliens. Now, to try to reconcile all this is impossible, folks. All I'm, I'm, I'm doing is, is I'm giving you facts as I see them, as a satanic ritual abuse survivor who knows damn well, America, you're in deep shit. You think they raped, tortured all these little boys and girls back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and keep going right up till today. You think, what, Trump's going to stop all this? What, they got time travel fi figured out? Okay, time travel. You have to understand this, that the Philadelphia Experiment concerning time travel was a complete accident according to Al, that they, you know, they, they were pulsing this electromagnetic field, creating the electromagnetic bottle around the Eldritch. Next thing you know, it does disappear. But furthermore, this thing punched a hole in the hyperspace and created a vortex. Now, why it, 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 it connected with Montauk on August 12th, 1983, who knows? That that cannot be explained. Only John Van Norman would know this. But the point is, folks, I can place myself there on that very date. I would have been, what, okay, 83. I would have been 16 years old, heading into my junior year. Because when I moved from Missouri, I should have graduated in 1984. But I graduated in 1985, and that's another issue of how that all worked. And I still have my diploma, which only states my name as Paul Lindner, not Paul Wilson Lindner Jr. June 1985, okay? So with that, with this driver's license showing my address as 144 which would be later changed to 33 and uh, one other piece of evidence which I'm not going to show that you people are in big trouble because here, here, here's, here's what I think 
did the chicken come before the egg? Were these Nazis out in Montauk by 1983 trying to figure out how they could do a switcheroo and make Germany win the war? I'm just throwing ideas out there, you know? Let's keep an open mind, folks. You're not going to hear this from James Rink or any of these super soldiers. These phony super soldiers, you goofballs. Look, I just did a video filming the fire and posted it on YouTube, and another Palladian just buzzes right through the screen. I tell you, you jokers, man, if I could get hold of all of you, I'd start banging heads off the concrete. Because you need to wake up. So yes, my grandfather and great-grandfather went to Princeton. They were both ordained as pastors. Now, let's, let's see, let's, let's slow down for a minute here. Because what, what I'm trying to figure out again is, how can this simultaneously happen? That Duncan Preston and whoever on August 12th, 83, say, look, we got to crash this project. But at the same time, Al, meaning Edward Cameron, with his brother, or, or, you know, arrived, they crashed right through the vortex and landed on Montauk, and then they're told they got to go back and destroy the equipment to shut it down, or the bubble in hyperspace will engulf the planet, and you all would have been toast back then. Well, again, you're dealing with dopey Satanists, folks. I hate to tell you this. You all, all, you know, you keep watching your TED Talks and all these smarty pants, these PhDs that are all Draco hybrids feeding you phony baloney. You're dealing with a bunch of dopey Satanists. Now, I'm in a funny mood. So... You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna just cut this short now, and I'm gonna gather my uh, my wits tomorrow. And look, I am going within the next couple of days to keep hammering away on these phonies. The phony TI community is done with. Now I'm getting into the the real meat and potatoes. These assholes that've been hassling my family. That. Essentially, because my dad won't snap out of it, he's going to have to spend eternal damnation in hell. And I don't like that. So what I'll tell you is, yes, you can pray for your enemies, folks. And yes, you can be nice. But remember, King David, if you think he just sat on his rear end while the Philistines were running amok, get a clue.